Hey guys, it's me. I just finished my 36 week doctor's appointment. I was late getting here, so I didn't have a chance to film anything before. However, I was waiting in the room for a little bit, and so I did take a video of the room. So I'll input that here for you guys to see if you're curious of what my um, OB office looks like. Um, here's a video of it. my temperature she didn't tell me what my temperature was but obviously it was fine because uh, they didn't make me leave <laughs> I dropped off a urine sample they took my weight um, I weighed myself yesterday and I have gained 25 pounds so that's pretty good they say 25 to 35 pounds is what you want to gain so that's what I am at right now and they also took my blood pressure I was worried about this because my blood pressure or my heart rate was high because I was late and I was also nervous for this appointment because I knew they were going to swab me and I'd have to get undressed so I already knew it was going to be bad and so I was trying to like take deep breaths and keep myself calm. They took my blood pressure, I think they said I was 128 over 80 so it's a little higher than normal but they didn't say anything about it my doctor didn't mention anything about it so i must still be in the clear thank goodness uh they had me go into my room and i had to get undressed from the waist down which i was like meh not happy about that uh, my doctor came in and she got the heartbeat it was 152 153 so baby was doing good he was active and kicking and she said she could definitely tell that he's dropped down which i agree i feel like my belly has gotten lower too she said it looked like it like most of him was below the belly button so it's good news she said she was able to tell he, he is head down she could tell his chest was way down there um which i figured he was head down grace was head down and didn't have any trouble but i just wanted to make sure and so everything is great um he shouldn't flip hopefully he doesn't flip and everything just stays how it is um she did not measure my belly which i was surprised but obviously she doesn't seem that concerned about it and i'm not concerned about it either so we didn't do that and then um she did do the swab so they are testing me for group b strep they test every mom for this and it's completely random whether you have it or you don't uh you could go you could have six pregnancies the first five could be negative and the last pregnancy you could be positive or you could have you know a negative um result your first pregnancy a positive your second a positive your third and a negative your fourth like it's totally random every woman has this i don't even know what it is it's just it lies in like your just like i don't even know i don't google it if you want to know more about it anyway they were testing me for it i tested negative for grayson um when they tested me um, she'll let me know at my next appointment if I test a positive or not. Basically, the only thing they do different is if you test positive, they just give you antibiotics when you go through labor. That's the only thing that's different. So, and I would get an IV anyway, because I'm getting the epidural for sure. So, um, if I test negative or if I test positive, it makes no difference to me because I'll have an IV anyway. So she will let me know about that. Yeah, everything was looking good. Um, I'm starting weekly appointments now. So I made an appointment for next week. Same time, just next week. Uh, same day, Tuesday. So, um, And then I think we're going to start checking my cervix and checking for dilation. So uh, it's just like going so fast. And um, I can't believe like I'm less than a month away from from having this baby um I asked her if I had to register for the hospital because I remember doing that with Grayson and I didn't do that I haven't done that yet but she said I don't have to do it again because I already did it the first time so that was easy I don't have to do anything with that um she said the hospital's crazy on the COVID side 
like there's just you know chaos of course but she said on the labor and delivery side it's not too bad she said she's only had one mom so far test positive for coronavirus so hopefully i test negative as well i'm sure i will and um yeah it's just getting close so we'll see next week if i am dilated at all or how things are looking I do not enjoy cervix checks. I know they're optional, you don't have to do it, but a lot of people like to do it just because it gives you an idea where you are. So we will see how it is, but just wanted to keep you guys updated and I'll see you guys next time. Is that ice cream? Is that so yummy? Oh, so good. <laughs>